Hey everybody, so this week we're going to focus on focus on normalization. I will be talking about the different kinds of normalization in my other video, but in this video I, I would like to focus on the kinds of dependencies. And we need to have an understanding of what each of these dependencies are before we uh, dive into this concept of normalization, because normalization is entirely based on the concept of these three dependencies. So, um, as we uh, as we recall, you know, uh, whenever we are creating a database, the first thing that we have to, that we have to identify is to um, the entities. And when we are creating the entities, or when we are identifying the entities for our database, they might be related to one another in one way or the other. They might be functionally dependent, they might be partially depend dependent, or they might be transitively dependent on another entity. And that's exactly what we are going to focus on this video. So let's just talk about the functional dependency. So if you have a variable uh, that is dependent on another variable, then in that case, we say that variable x is dependent on variable y. So let's say you have this function f of, f of x equals to y, then in that case, what we mean is that if you know the value of x, then you can, um, then you know the value of y. So this means that in this case, f of x equals to y, x is the independent variable, and y is a dependent variable. The reason why y is a dependent, dependent variable is because the value of y is dependent on the value of variable x. Likewise, if we have an entity A and entity B, and if entity A is totally dependent on um, entity B, then in that case, we call it the functionally dependent. But let's uh, narrow this down to just one entity where there have where there are multiple attributes. So if there are, <clears throat> so if there are let's say uh, multiple attributes in an entity where the attributes is dependent on another attribute, or let's say totally on another attribute, then that we call the functionally dependent. Let's me just see if I can get an example. Okay, so let me pull this example for you. So let's say that we have the student table where we have a student ID, the first name and the last name. So in this case, the student ID is the primary key or let's say the primary identifier of the student table. So if you know the student ID, you could also know the first name of the student and you could also know the last name of the student. So this means that, the, that this attribute, first name, is totally dependent on the student ID because you can easily know or you can easily find out the first name of the student if you know the student ID. And likewise, last name variable, this variable over here is also completely dependent on student ID variable because if you know the student ID, you can also easily know the last name of the student. So this case over here, where a variable where an attribute is dependent or where an attribute can easily be uh, tracked down just because you have just because you have this information over here that is what we call the functionally uh, functional dependency so if you have the attribute that is functional dependent on the primary key then that we call the functional dependent so for a variable for a attribute to be functional dependent on the primary key that must be that attribute must be dependent on the student, student attribute must be dependent on the primary key so that is a case of uh, functional dependency so let's move on to another kind of dependency that is the partial dependency so for the partial dependency we we need to uh, we first need to understand the concept of composite key so composite key is a case where there are two identifiers for for a table so going back to this example over here, so let's say in this case over here, there are two primary keys. One is the order ID and the item ID. So if you have an attribute in a table which is partially dependent or which is only dependent on one of the two primary keys, then that's the partial dependency. So if you have a variable or an attribute that is dependent on both the primary keys, then that is a case of functional dependency. But if you have a variable that is not dependent on both the primary keys, but just one primary key, then that is a case of partial dependency. 
For example, if you look at this table over here where order ID and item ID are the primary keys and then you have a variable quantity and the customer ID. So quantity, this, this attribute over here, is dependent on both order ID and the item ID. And because this attribute over here is dependent on both the order ID and item ID, this variable is functionally dependent on both of on the both of its primary keys. But the customer ID, this attribute over here, is only dependent on the order ID. That is just one primary key when there are two primary keys or two primary identifiers for this table. So this situation over here where you have an attribute that is dependent on just one of the two primary keys, this is a case of partial dependency. <clears throat> so let's move on to the third kind of, kind of dependency that is a transitive dependency. So the idea with a transitive dependency is that if you have an attribute that is dependent not only on the primary keys but also on the non but also on the non primary attribute then that's the, that's the transitive dependency so far with the partial dependency and the functional dependency what we have observed is that either the attribute is dependent or uh, is total dependent on, dependent on the primary key or if there if there if it's a case where there are two primary keys or two primary identifiers then the other attributes are at least dependent on one of the two primary keys but the idea with the transitive dependency is that if you have an attribute that is dependent not only on the primary keys but also on the non primary attribute then that's the transitive de transitive dependency <clears throat> so let's take a look at the example over here so over here you have an orders table where you have the order ID, order date, customer ID, and the customer name. In this table, order ID is the primary key and customer ID is the foreign foreign key. So let's not talk about the foreign key concept of right now because that's something that we'll be covering in the um, another class or you know as we construct the uh, database. So Let's say that you know customer ID over here is a non-primary attribute or a foreign key, and this attribute over here is dependent on the order ID because when order is placed, we'd like to know who placed an order. And if we have a customer ID, then we can track down the customer name and you know, likewise other customer related information. So with this table, a uh, customer ID is a non-primary attribute that is it's not a primary key, but it's still in here. And there is an order ID which, which is the primary identifier. And in the same table, we also have another attribute, customer name, which is um, <coughs> primarily dependent on the customer ID. That is, if we know the customer ID, then we can perhaps know who the customer is. So uh, this variable over here or this attribute over here is primarily dependent on the customer ID and not necessarily on the order ID right so and the reason why we say that is because just by knowing the customer ID which is uh, dependent on the order ID which is functional dependent on the order ID uh, we could easily track down or we could easily identify the information of the customers so this attribute over here customer name is not necessarily dependent on the order ID which is a primary identifier for this table but it is primarily dependent on the customer ID attribute of this table which is a non-primary key attribute so these kind of situations where we have a non where we have an attribute that is dependent on the non-primary attribute then that we call the transitive dependency So now that we have covered the different kind of uh, dependencies in a database, um, the main reason why we why we should understand these concepts of the functional dependency, partial dependency, and the transitive dependency is because uh, that is something we would like to resolve when we are normalizing the tables. So in the first normal form, we try to eliminate the functional dependencies. And in the second normal form, 
we try to get rid of the partial dependences in the table and in the third normal form we try to resolve the transitive dependencies in the table so if we do not have an idea of what each of these dependencies are we perhaps may not be able to normalize a table which is why it's important that we understand what each of these uh, dependencies are before we start normalizing the table so that's about uh, the uh, the different kind of dependencies in the table uh, in the next video i'm going to be talking about normalizations and the different kind of anomalies and why normalization is important to resolve the different kind of anomalies in a database.